Good afternoon. Uh, another time for a chat. <laughs> Welcome to my daily broadcast. Today we're going to talk about perfection. And ladies, what is your perfect man? And are you holding on to a dream that's not even possible? So I'm going to tease that apart slightly and give you some guidance, some suggestions, and maybe some feedback if you're interested in participating. Um, before I jump into the topic, though, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. Because um, I'm certainly not perfect. I. <laughs> I, my name is Barry Selby. Hi, welcome to my broadcast. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, relationship and love expert, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, and also I help women create balance and love life and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's also what informed my talks and what started my talks um, almost three years ago, these talks rather, called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. So I've been talking about this stuff for a while now, which is why episode number 883 <clears throat> gonna go for a thousand I think it just seems like I've got no choice now I'm too far along to not keep going and today we're talking about perfection and in particular I, I posted a, 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 a meme or a picture earlier today which is about the um, women is this your perfect man which is a composite and it was really I mean it was intended to be funny but I already got people responding in interesting ways which gave me pause for thought looking at okay so what is perfection and what is it that we frame as that and do we even think we can have that in our relationships now, I'm aiming in particular towards, towards women, but I'm going to speak from my own experience being a man, seeing women, and give you my, my um, let's just come in behind the scenes, <laughs> kind of see where I come from on this. Because the thing is, I've talked about in the journey of, of life and experience that, you know, perfection is impossible, but excellence isn't a dream. And also, another perspective, from a spiritual perspective, is that being perfect is who we already are. So let's just put two things on the table that totally throw you out of the, throw you out of the park. But I'm talking about relationships here. And having worked with quite a lot of women over the years and talked to a lot of women friends, and men have the same problem too. So this is, I'm just speaking to women in this aspect, but I'm not saying it's not for everybody. But I'm aware for, for a lot of women out there that they feel like they're, as the way I'm framing it, is their picker is, their picker is broken. I Meaning they keep choosing relationships that suck. And so they have this dream or this vision of what would be ideal, be perfect for them in a relationship. I did the same thing for when I was looking, going through my own relationship experiences with women. I had the same thing about wanting something better and different than what I had. So there's this difference of choice going on here. And the contrast is between what we really want and what we get. And I may go down that path, we'll see. But let me start speaking about the perfect ideal first. Because we have this dream of what the perfect relationship is going to be. What they're like, what they want to be, that fantasy, dream, fairy tale idea, romance. Maybe the prince or some sort of thing out there is that dream you have, ladies. But two things are going on. One is that that perfection dream idea is not reality, unfortunately, unless it is. <laughs> I'll leave the one hanging for a moment. But secondly, for many, many people, both men and women, we don't believe we're worthy of what we dream we can have. So there's already a disconnect internally with a feeling where we have this vision of what we want to have that's going to be an amazing, incredible relationship but then we self-reflect to go, I can't have that. Now, if this resonates for you, keep tuned. Stay tuned. I've got some other input for you to give us some guidance. Because we disillusion ourselves. I mean, we're our worst critic in this sense. And I include myself because I've done the same thing. That we can think, don't think we can have what we want. The second part of that is, in the real world, so to speak, or I should say another part, I've already done two, three parts. Another part of this is, in the real world, so to speak, we're out in the, in the world, we meet somebody who think is perfect by the way they look. And that's kind of what my post was about. And I've had the same experience where I meet women who think, wow, they're perfect, they're amazing. But it, <laughs> let's just say I've been easily fooled. And I, I would say you have been too. Being a woman looking at men, we think they're perfect because they, they dress clean, they look very good, they have a nice car, they, they're, they're nicely uh, manicured, pedicured, whatever. Well, you usually don't see a man's pedicure. Um, manicured, but also have this presentation. Talk about this, or it was a conversation I had recently about that first date perfection thing. Now you make so, you dress up so much for first dates to make it everything perfect, but then you slump up after that. It's kind of the whole thing. That, I mean, I'm realizing I was like, how do I tie this into Halloween? By the way, happy Halloween. That's today, by the way. And I did post two replays of broadcasts from last year and the year before onto my wall today from broadcast one was about um dressing up costume presentation faking it the other one was about 
probably about candy, I guess, because I was playing with them with Halloween themes. But let me speak to it at this point of view. We have a tendency to try to make the best impression we can, the first impression. But a lot of times that impression isn't accurate because we overdo things to make it look really good, but we can't keep that up for very long. So second, third, fourth, fifth dates, we start to slump off. There's a great video I had posted a while ago. It was, um, I'm not sure it wasn't, no. It was a YouTube video I saw, basically a comedic thing about from when they first meet and how they're at the restaurant and he and she are looking at best behavior, smiling, but smugly teeth. And she's ordering, ordering a side salad and he's ordering a small meal and trying to look presentable. But then 12 dates in, they're at home in their sweats eating pizza, like slobbering and drifting all over each other. That's the thing is we have this thing where we don't present ourselves authentically from the beginning. Now, I'm not saying on the first date you shop in sweats eating pizza. I'm not saying that. But what I am hinting at is that maybe there's a better way of being. And part of that is being consistent. And this is the challenge of a lot of people is they don't know how to be themselves. Which, excuse me, let me back up. I didn't say that right. A lot of people out there don't know how to... Still not saying it right. <laughs> a lot of people I'm aware of who don't recognize, that's a better word, who they are as they are is okay. Again, we don't think we're worthy or deserving of that perfection we keep holding out there. So let me give you a part two of what I'm talking about with the women I've been meeting. I, I live in LA, in case you didn't know that. And it, not it's just an LA thing, but certainly it has been during the summer, is there are so many women out there with what I would perspe 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 perceive as a man, as a masculine, red-blooded male, as women with amazing looking bodies and faces. Presentation again, looking perfect. I've actually got a friend of mine who is a X-rated, she's a porn actress. She's almost retired now, she's in her 40s. But her pictures are absolutely devastatingly beautiful when you look at pictures. But I know her and I know she's going through some challenging physical illnesses right now. And it's that thing about you don't know who the person is beyond the look. And the problems with things like Instagram and Facebook and everything else, we do buy into the looks of people. Same thing with the dating apps, by the way, because most of the pictures on the dating apps come from their Facebook profiles. Or is that just me? <laughs> so recognizing that what you present isn't just an image, but it's a full expression of who you are, can, act, can be your positive or your negative, depending on how you look at it. First of all, Please stop shooting yourself in the foot. Stop devaluing yourself based upon an assumption you make about yourself that's not true. I know that you might have some skeletons in the closet, speaking of Halloween, some dark things you don't want to share because you made some mistakes in the past. But that's no reason, absolutely no reason, to be clear about this, that you would actually, um, I know, say another way. The tendency we have when we have those skeletons in the closet is that we don't really think we're worthy of having that perfect relationship. It's like If you only knew me, you would think this and this about me, which isn't true, by the way, but we carry this belief about ourselves. So a lot of the work in my coaching, a lot of the work you need to do if you want to really have an amazing relationship is, start, is to start removing the judgments you've been carrying and embedding and wearing for yourself for the last dozen years. You deserve better because you are better, but you don't believe that. So the first thing is remembering who you really are. Self-support, self-value, self-respect is key to remembering your worthiness because that's who you are. And by the way, this thing about worthiness, just drop that in the, in the conversation. Worthiness is not something you can achieve. Worthiness is not something you can get. Worthiness is not something you can buy. Worthiness is what you already are. You just may be forgetting that. So this is a reminder. Remember. <laughs> if you've got challenges with that, I can help you with that too. So getting back to the piece I was talking about earlier, which piece I want to talk about. That perfection image. So I was talking about my friend who is the porn actress who's going through some illnesses right now. And she's got major, she's got, anyway, I'm not going to get into detail. But I've met so many women, not porn actresses, at least I don't think so, who are beautiful looking, you know, they've, they've had plastic surgery, or whatever, they look perfect. But they're hiding so much of their own personality challenges. So many people put on so much exertion to look good out in the world because they're carrying dark secrets inside. So the more perfect somebody looks, 90%, I would say, well, I can't say 90% of the time because I don't have statistics, but I would suspect for a lot of people who have um, a presentation that's so perfect are hiding so much challenge inside they haven't healed. It's basically what people do is they're, um, well, 
they're painting over rust, so to speak, as in using, using a car term, car term or car, the car analogy, is they're basically using high quality paint painting over rust, trying to hide it, but the rust keeps showing through. And so people do the things where they dress up the right way. They go to the gym, work out, really get fit, or they put, do plastic surgery. They buy the nice cars, the nice jewelry, the nice looks, everything's appearance is perfect. When they go out in the world, they keep that like fixed grin on their face to look perfect. But it's a false front. It's a fake appearance. It's not the truth. And the reality is if somebody got to know them as they really were, besides, be, beyond the appearance of perfection, they might be found to be a nicer person than they really are. Let me say another way. If you're so attached to your looks and appearance, you don't let people know who you really are. That's a mistaken approach, by the way. Because again, first date, 10th date, very different experiences. So when you come through this journey of recognizing who you are, first of all, you start relaxing that um, appearance of perfection. That, um, is it, what is it? it's like a house of cards in a way, but something else, it's, it's, it's a plastic exterior that's not real. In my view of the world, reality, vulnerability, truth, humility, understanding, acceptance are all qualities of a nice person, of an approachable person, of a possible date because there's all these qualities there. But when somebody crosses being very fixed and almost plastic in appearance, almost robotic in fact, there's no way to sit, find your way in through that. So if you want a relationship that's fulfilling to you, two things have to happen. Because again, you've got yourself where you're judging yourself as being low and your perfection's too high. There's no meeting in the middle. And it's kind of like one of us who's meeting in the middle, meaning that you make a vision of what you want to be not so much realistic, but, it, but it excellent. Like have it really be wonderful and amazing because you want to have an amazing relationship, but not so far out of reach you can't get to it. And secondly, do the work on yourself to remember that you're worthy and deserving of what you already want. Because the thing is, that what happens is you either spend a lot of time alone because what you want is so far out of reach, or you settle for what you think you're worth, which is not true, which is less than you deserve, and you end up with a relationship that sucks. Either way isn't fun. So this is making some sense because there's a, a spectrum we play on from unachievable to too easy, not worth it kind of energy. And I'm not saying relationships aren't, relationships aren't good that are easy. What I'm saying is you settle for less than you deserve and you don't get what you really want. Either way, you're not happy. So for the ladies in particular, I'm saying it's time to raise your standards because of who you are. And secondly, it's time to let go of that perfect, perfect image. It's not even achievable or frankly, not even desirable. I'll make it even more accurate. Because the tendency is we think that thing's so perfect, but when we get there, it's like bursting a bubble, there's a bursting a balloon, there's nothing there. So set out your goals for what you really want to have. The qualities in particular relationship, because qualities 90% of the time are what carry you through. Qualities of compassion, of humility, of joy, of leadership, of acceptance, of drive, all these different things are great things to have. None of those are related to perfection. They are just qualities of what somebody's about. And when you look for that, you'll, get, you'll find what you're looking for. If your picker is broken, ladies, I have a course designed for you. I'll tell you about that in a moment. But the biggest piece, again, is recognizing your own self-support, your own recognition of your self-confidence and self-respect. Because if you want to have an amazing relationship, didn't say perfect, but an amazing relationship, you've got to remember that you already are amazing. So reflecting on who you are to see yourself truly as you really are is one of the ways you get there. Yes, Focusing on the goals out there is always what we're driven to do. And in coaching, a lot of people say, you know, focus on the goal, focus on the goal, focus on the goal. I would say, let's focus on the goal in the mirror first. Love yourself, care for yourself, and appreciate yourself first. So your self-respect, self-esteem, and self-confidence improves, increases back to where it's supposed to be. So you recognize that you're worthy. Because again, you already are. There's nothing to fight for with that. Then when you start looking at your relationship, goals, intentions, dreams, it's easy to see what you really want as achievable and worthwhile. So there's a few things I'm going to put in the comments. Kind of is, so is, yeah, okay, I'll put a few things in the comments. So for the ladies in particular, um, I have a course called Attract the Man You Want, which I'm going to put in the comments because it speaks to this very clearly about vision, intention, and clarity of a, a dream you can manifest and have what you want in a relationship. It's a magnetic um, attractor for what you want in a relationship. So ladies, that's why it's called Attract the Man You Want. Makes sense? I'll put that in the comments so you can check it out. And also, because I did mention about self-support and really getting yourself back on your own two feet, and really appreciating who you are and feeling worthy. I also put my self-love meditation in there because that's a guided meditation that will change your life. 
it's that good and it does let you look in the mirror in a way that is supportive and positive and inspiring because frankly we could all use more of that that's also for the men too if men want that they can get that as well the, the course is for women because unless well unless you're gay i guess you can use it it's a track the man you want is for women primarily but a gay man could use it i guess um it is framed towards women but i think it would still work never tried that before okay so that'd be in the comments and if you want to reach out for a conversation with me because this may be deeper than you want to do alone maybe you want to reach out for support i'll put the link in the comments for a chat with me that's primarily for the ladies as well um and just for the fun of it, I'll put my book in there because I mentioned it earlier and I'm a big fan of my book. <laughs> of course I'm a big fan of my book. I wrote it. Um, so I'll put a link for that in the comments too. I hope this is making sense to you because this is a paradigm shift for some people where they can see things differently. Maybe you don't, maybe it's not an issue for you, but you might know people it is a challenge for. So I hope this resonates for you and it speaks to you because frankly, it may be time for you to step up to the truth of who you are, to recognize that you're worthy, to recognize you're deserving and to let go of that perfection that you don't think you could even have so you can have the relationship you really want. That is my reminder to you, my nudge to you, my encouragement to you. So if you're going to go out tonight and dress up in costume and do, and do Halloween stuff, um, remember that's a costume, it's a mask, it's an appearance. That's the thing that you don't want to be doing when you're dating. Now you want to play with that maybe, yes, but I'm talking about how it's time to take the mask off and be authentic and be real and be truthful so you can be seen as who you are in a relationship. So that is my encouragement, my invitation, and my recommendation for you. That's your homework, if you want to do it. <laughs> so again, there's four links to be in the comments because I did mention all four, which is a big load of, of stuff for you today. And uh, I hope this makes sense. This is there for you. This is my intention to support you in having a better way of living, a better way of loving, a better way of relating. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is my daily Facebook Live, every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page. You find me every day at 5 p.m. On, at Barry Selby on Facebook. Please follow me there. Um, if you want to see the replays, you can find me on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Most of them are there, but Facebook doesn't show all the replays for some reason. But you can find it there if you want to watch them. Please like my page, which is barryselby.author. Alternatively, you can find every single one of my broadcasts because it's saved them there onto my YouTube channel. I've always got a backup plan. My YouTube channel is Barry Selby as well, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. You can subscribe to my channel and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. You can watch them from newest to oldest. The titles are very easy to see, so much easier to find them there, frankly, than on Facebook. And you can comment either one of them, by the way, for questions, thoughts, etc. And if you want to reach out for more support, message me over social media. Have fun tonight. If you're celebrating, if you're trick-or-treating, if you're giving out trick-or-treats, be generous. Um, and remember you're worthy, deserving, and perfection is not even on the table. You don't need it. Who you are is good enough. What you want is amazing. You can have what you want if you really focus on that. And again, I can help you with that. With that, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.